So we have all this outcrop here with uh, small amounts of mineralization. This looks like uh, it's a uh, argolitic rock. Uh, you got some chert, maybe a bit of jasper here. So what we're trying to do is preliminary prospecting on this property and we're just trying to find maybe a sample or two that's got any mineralization. So we're just going to poke around, take a look, hammer a few rocks, see if we can find anything. Okay, so we have a oxidized buggy quartz vein here or piece of quartz uh, looks like you have a little bit of iron pyrite in there but nothing crazy we're gonna take these samples and catalog them uh, might be some free milling metals in there there's supposed to be gold on this property so we'll see Okay, so looking under the jeweler's loop, you can tell you have um, this gossamous rock. Obviously, used to be quite a bit more mineral in here. Uh, you can see this right here. This is iron pyrite. Very fine grained. You have more right here. So you got lots of patches of um, fine grain sulfides, primarily iron pyrite. Uh, you got a bit of manganese in here and of course we got free mill gold so uh, definitely not going to be anywhere near a high grade but still free mill gold so what we're going to do is we're going to take a big hunk of this here and we're going to send it in for an analysis so i'll post this a result for that at the end of the video So you can see the extent of all this exposure. Lots and lots of oxidized rock. There's definitely no solid mineral. I don't know what the mineral potential for this would even be for uh, mining this out. And it's all grade permitting. There's no or bodies of solid mineral it's all filling fractures okay so we got our sample stay tuned for the result after